Is it a painting or is it a photograph? This is the question on the lips of the viewers who visit the exhibition of photographer Gong Pa John Dax Lu. After 40 years of life in the United States, this Korean American photographer has returned to Korea and recently opened his first Korean solo exhibition, Goan and Siddhartha. Meet the photographer who experiments with the realms of art photography to open up a new world of images on Heart to Heart. Hello and welcome to Heart to Heart. I'm Colleen Park. Uh, in countries uh, which are influenced by Confucian culture, like Korea and China, sometimes people give themselves an extra name, um, a name besides their real name. And we call this Ho. And it often reflects uh, the person's personality, interest, and uh, character and ability. And our guest today has a very unique Ho. Please welcome photographer Gong Pa Chan Dax Lu. Hello, welcome. Thank you, thank welcome. you. It's an honor, honor to be here. Well, Gung Pa, what does that mean? Because your, your full name yeah. is John Dax Lu. That's true. And then you have the Gung Pa, which is what we call the Ho, right? Yes. Um, John Dax Lu is my legal name, mm. American legal name, so I have to use that. But the Gung Pa was given to me by this artist named Ho Young Seok. Uh, he's, he has become like a more than a big brother to me now, but uh, he has very Buddhistic background. And he's good at those things. <laughs> so he gave me, he gave me actually a few choices, but I took Kung Pa because I like the contradiction it has. Mm. It, it's a very strong sounding, but actually it's a very humble name. Oh, uh, what does it mean? Uh, the Kung means air, emptiness, um, the even lack of. Lack the of. And then Pa is hill. Mm -mm -mm. And hill is a very comfortable thing, I think. Right. You go up on a hill and you watch everything in a very kind of soothing way. Mm -hmm. So, but I translated English into Stairway to Heaven. Ah. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, I, I like that. But actually, if you look up in the dictionary, it, the first definition comes out as uh, somebody who attacks and breaks. Mm. And that, I like that too. Okay. Even though it's not the true meaning. Right. So I like that contradiction, I and, see. and I'm contradictory, so. Well, I think it, it, we'll get into it, but your work mm. also seems that way. Um, uh, actually, why do you have a, um, within your name, you have the English and the Korean side and sort of the Buddhist um, aspect of it within the name. Is that what you are about, a whole mix of everything? Well, with, with Buddhism, I was, uh, my whole family was Buddhist, mm -hmm. and so I'm kind of ingrained in that culture. Mm -hmm. Even though I grew up in the States, uh, it was always there. Mm. Um, so it's, it, I guess it's part of me, mm. and it never left, it's always there. So it, it's a kind of natural transgression, and I guess it reflected in my work it should. Mm. It should. Well, which is, um, you, your solo exhibition that you just had is mm -hmm. titled Catechism and Siddhartha. Actually, it's called Koan and Siddhartha. Koan and Siddhartha. Koan and Siddhartha. And, Siddhartha. Yeah. and what, what does that mean to you? Koan, Koan is a um, uh, Buddhist teaching. It's a, it's a way of practicing what the Buddha has taught. And uh, Koan are very nonsensical questions. Mm that uh, you need to have a very empty mind to understand. Mm. And uh, that's what I try to do in my show. I, I don't put any titles on it, and I don't try to give the audience anything uh, that could influence their minds mm. while they're viewing my work. And the work was about actually scars, um, maybe because I have a lot of scars. <laughs> but, uh, um, scars, abandonment, neglect, Mm. And, uh, these, these are photos of, uh, they're everywhere, the, the things that I shoot. Mm. They're everywhere, but people don't notice it. But I zoom in on it and, and, and blow them up really big. And then, and then it becomes very abstract. You look at a very small thing and you blow them up. Right. You can't tell what it is. Right, right, right. But in actuality, it's there. It, it's, mm. na it's nature, actually. Uh, Man-made nature, but nevertheless, it's nature. Uh, mm. What brought you about to do this particular solo exhibition in that way? 
Uh, it w I was building up to this uh, show because uh, mm, it w it's my first exhibition mm -hmm. so um, in Korea and I'm returning to Korea mm -hmm. so it sort of all made sense mm. and then how I chose Buddhist to uh, theme was just a I think very poetic in a way mm -hmm. in my life mm -hmm. that I return I return to Korea after 40 years and take that kind of theme and that was there in the beginning so it took 40 years kind to of to return so you're talking about sort yeah, of cycling the cycle, back right. I see and you, you it was your first exhibition. Mm -hmm. um, how did you feel? I mean, what was the reaction like with the... It was very interesting. It was very interesting. I, I stayed there, but uh, what I noticed was that the uh, audience, uh, they're very intimidated by the artist. Mm. Uh, I would assume if the artist was there, they would, they would be more interested in the artist and talk to the artist. Yeah, because y you mentioned that you mm. had um, stayed the whole time, the two weeks, while the whole exhibition was exactly. on. Exactly. I was, I was very curious. Uh, yeah. And most of the time, like in the States, mm -hmm. all the, the viewers or the people who come mm. want to talk to the artist. Exactly, exactly. Nobody wanted to talk to you? They were intimidated, <laughs> I think. They were intimidated, and, and then they're very timid. Mm. So... Um, Actually, sometimes I have to go up to them and explain mm. uh, in my short Korean. But uh, I, I, I find it kind of, not, not weird, but kind of strange. Mm. It, I guess it has to do with uh, this word called 정서, mm -hmm. this, this uh, Korean that I'm getting used to. But, uh, well, when you did speak to them, what, kind mm. of, what were they interested in? Well, first thing was, is it a picture? Is it a photograph or a drawing mm. or a painting? Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I think that's a natural question mm. if, if you see my work, but uh, at first I, 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 I keep getting these questions and I was getting tired of it, <laughs> but later I understood why um, and I started seeing, yeah, they could, they could view it that way mm. and that's okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, uh, uh, I don't want to be mistaken for anything, mm -hmm. and, but uh, it, it was fun kind of telling them it is a photograph, mm -hmm. it is about reality. Uh, reality, past and present, from up close and far. Mm -hmm. and there are a lot of metaphors that I can put into it. Okay. Yeah, but uh, you know, it, it's something that I did and uh, something for people to see. And it, it was very interesting experience. And and the most interesting part is that the gallery owner is it is one of these thought leaders who does a lot of work mm -hmm. in advancing art and photography. Her name is um, Yi Sun Shim, but uh, I, th that's kind of things that I learned. I learned about behind the scene kind mm. of things and mm -hmm. what the underground and the mainstream of Korea and Korean uh, art culture. Well, are you? Do you think you're part of the underground, or are you part of mainstream? Do you think in Korea? I think I was underground before when uh -huh. I was younger. Mm -hmm. But uh, as I get older, yeah. I, I want the mainstream okay. because, you know, that's what I want art to be. I want art to be part of life. All right. Well, I'm very curious to take a look at your painting or photograph. Okay. Uh, photographer Gumpa John Dax Lu opened, of course, his first solo exhibition, and we followed out to see what it was like. So let's all have a look. A photo exhibition opened at a gallery in Jongno by photographer John Dax Lu. It is the photographer's first solo exhibition after arriving in Korea a year and a half ago. Because it's a little bit more than that. 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 It's a little bit more 처음 접하는 거니까 좀 모르는 게 너무 많아가지고 그 다음에 할 때는 이제 좀좀더 익스페리멘터하게 하고 그리고 이제 좀더 세련되게 하고. Like its title, Guam and Siddhartha, the exhibition has a strong Buddhist atmosphere. At the heart of many of the subject of John Dax Lu pieces is Buddha himself. 이 작품은 그 혼합 사진인데 
그 난꽃하고 이제 부처님의 얼굴하고 이제 혼합을 시킨 겁니다. 이 사진을 보면 이제 조금 그 여성스럽지 남성스럽지는 않거든요. 그 부처님의 그 음성적인 마음, 부다네이처지만 페미넨한 그런 마음을 내가 이제 그 보여드리고 싶었고 이런 작품은 이렇게 좀 멀리서 이제 뛰어서 이렇게 보면은 일단 이제 디테일이 안 보이니까 지금 같은 그세 줄이 딱 보여서 거기에만 집중이 되는데 근데 이제 가까이 가서 보게 되면은 그또 색다른 세계가 보이거든요. 굉장히 그 카암하면서도 굉장히 남북해요. 요새 같은 세상처럼 굉장히 그 겉으로는 좀 포장도 돼 있고 다 이렇게 보이는데 사실 그 속을 열어 보면은 굉장히 남북하고 그리고 좀 무질서하고. When viewed from a distance, John Dax Lu's photos look like paintings, but when examined up close, the images reveal themselves to be in fact the work of digital photography. For the photographer, the process of zooming in on his objects is about attaining the essence of things in life. 공화는 여러 가지 질문을 하는 거지만 그내 나름대로의 답은 그 내람대로 내지만 또 관람객의 몫은 또 관람객의 몫이라서 제가 이제 강요를 안 하는 거예요. 그래서 이제 그, 그, 그 작품에다가 그 타이틀도 안 붙이고 그리고 이제 관람객이 보면서 홀로 느끼고 홀로 답하고 그리고 작가가 뭘 디맨드 하지 않는 거죠. With no explanation offered for each piece, the viewers are left to freely interpret and discover the essence of the images. 돌아서 봤을 때 이게 사진전이 아니라 무슨 그림 전시회라고 느꼈거든요. 사실적인 것보다는 좀 추상적인 느낌을 많이 받았습니다. 뭐랄까 그 공수래 공수고 지금 뭐 이렇게 부처에 대한 얘기를 지금 하는 것 같기도 하고 마음에 있는 어떤 뭐랄까 공허함 같은 것도 표현하는 것 같기도 하고 재밌었던 것 같아요. 음, I I understand what the visitors mean. Mm. Um, they don't really look like photos when we think of just photos. Right. Um, how do you how do you work? How did you come to do works like this? Well, it, it's sort of like a practice that I do to focus on things. Mm. Um, it, I, I think I learned that from Picasso, mm -hmm. of all people. <laughs> uh, he he had this uh, lithograph series of eleven lithographs that he drew of a bull. It was a full scale. Um, uh, brush drawing, and then he would reduce that down to just lines, mm. and he and then that just blew me away because that kind of process of thinking and actually creating and ending up with such an essence of things. Mm -mm -mm. Um, I guess that's what I was trying to do in my photography, but that's that's how that's that's where the focusing came in from, just getting into a uh, essence of things. I see. Yeah. So it, you're, you're going in and in and zooming in on to, I guess, the origin of whatever that may be. Correct, correct. I have, I have a design background, so I, I'm, I'm very good at cropping things. Mm. But uh, that got me kind of sort of, no, that's not enough. You mm -hmm. need to make a full frame of things that, that you're fo focusing on. So I, I get up really close to a mark, mm. and, um, and then I just blow them up really huge and then it, it shows another dimension because uh, essence of digital photography is pixels mm -hmm. and most people are afraid of pixels mm -hmm. you know they don't want to show <laughs> right. but I love pixels they're, they're like cubism <laughs> you know they're, they're little squares and you know they have different colors and and gives uh, each other um, you know complementary looks and just whole whole it, it gives another whole layer of things mm. and and I find meaning in that mm -mm -mm. you know when you go up really close to something great um, do you do that with people do I do that with people do you when you, like with your relationship do you really get in deep and trying to find the essence of a person uh, I'm a good listener I, I okay. listen first <laughs> all right and then and then I find out about them and then yes I do in a way okay. you know I, I, I it, you know, as yourself, I like meeting people too. Mm. You know, I'm I'm a partier if I don't create <laughs> art. I'm a control freak when uh, when it comes to creating art. I but, see. 
but uh, besides Well, your personal that, life should, be, should usually reflect in what you do, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, I think so too, but artists are usually bipolar, I think. <laughs> you, know, it's, okay. uh, you know, they have their own world, right. but when you're outside of that world, you know, you have to adapt to, I mean, you have to live with people. Mm -hmm. Are you one of those um, photographers who's really into like new cameras and the whole new um, technology behind it? Do you seek out the best lens uh, or, or do you just like to work with a certain camera? I was in the analog days. I was, I was, I was like camera freak. Mm. I, I wanted everything, you know. But uh, I kind of stood back when the digital age came and I still was uh, a traditional photographer till mm -hmm. then. But uh, when the digital thing came, um, it doesn't matter anymore. Mm. You know, camera doesn't matter anymore. Mm. It's, I, I usually, bef even before in the analog days, it w it's, it's, it's the end product, not, not the tool that you do it with. Right. So I, I even take picture with my um, camera on my phone. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the worse the camera is, I think it's good for me. I like it that way because... Uh, that kind of camera has their own unique characteristic. Mm.